Coach, you're heading into week four for the college football season. Who's been your biggest surprise and biggest disappointment? Yeah, it started off with Kansas. It's yeah. three and, how about University of Kentucky? I didn't think it'd be 3-0. and oh. Washington is 3-0. and oh. uh, You look at Minnesota, 3-0. Now, granted, Minnesota hadn't played anybody yet, but they've been very, very impressed with that. Florida State being 3-0. and oh. It's a long time since they've been there. 3-0, and, oh, and yeah, they won some close ball games, et cetera. Even Oregon is 3-0. and oh. And you look at Syracuse, 3-0. and oh, And Rutgers at 3-0. and oh. Now, granted that they've set their schedule to get off to a good start before they get into conference, but those are all schools that surprised me, particularly Kansas. Who would have ever thought that they would win two games after being down by two scores on the road, coming back to win? They beat a good West Virginia football team. The disappointing teams, Colorado's not only are they on three mark, they are very, very competitive whatsoever. Navy being 0 and 2, Northwestern 1 and 2. I thought after Northwestern won their first game against Nebraska that they'd come on and have a very good year. Purdue being 1 and 2. There's no way Purdue should be 1 and 2. They're very talented. But last, last week, Mark, they scored with 40 seconds to go to take the lead. And then they get a 30-yard penalty on their tight end who wanted to prove he was a man, whatever the case may be, but it hurt the team because, lo and behold, they end up losing the ball game on basically the last play of the game. I think I'd have to put Notre Dame as a disappointment, Mark. They're one and two, but the fact they were number five in the country preseason makes it a little bit disappointing. UConn, one and three, but they're getting beat quite decisively. And the fact that South Carolina is one and two. I thought with Shane Beaner and with uh, Spencer Rattler, a quarterback, and 10 starters coming back on it, I thought they would be much, much better than they are at the present time. They got blown out by Georgia, which and that really surprised me because that game is always close. doesn't matter about the records. It's such an intense rivalry because they're so close to one another. So it's too early to say who surprises and who disappoints. But I, I think right now Kansas would be number one.